Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you're having an awesome day today. This is Tech, back with another video for you guys. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below on your thoughts and opinions on the information discussed, etc, etc, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. This video is going to be a quick review over the practical malware analysis and triage course from TCM Security and instructed by Husky Hacks. I just recently finished this course. It took me roughly 20 to 30 days to fully go through it and do all the labs and such, try to understand the material being taught, all the concepts, all that good stuff. Now, this course is very, very affordable. It was, it's only around 30 bucks on their website and the TCM security company tends to give out very generous discounts. When I enrolled into this course, I had taken the discount for, I think it was either $1 discount or $6 discount to get the course. So it's like, hey, you know, that is dirt cheap. And I've taken courses from TCM security before and they are good quality. So why not? Decided to take it. And I was not disappointed at all. This course is pretty doggone awesome, especially if you are new to cybersecurity or just new to doing malware analysis, anything like that. I do have some experience in malware analysis, just being on the blue team or cyber defense side of things. A lot of my different job roles had entailed uh, malware ana analysis in some form of another and dealing with incident response, stuff like that. Anyway, let's get down into, I covered in a previous video, initial impressions over the course, what the course is about and all that stuff, basic to intermediate. I mean, it's said here, if, if you wanna take this course, or why do you wanna take this course? Explains the reasoning behind that. I mean, this can only help you in your career, help you develop those skills that are in demand, what employers are looking for. On top of that, it is, hands-on keyboard experience. You know, it goes through and shows you an example of how to do malware analysis or whatever concept is being taught in a particular video. It tells you everything about it, goes through and shows you how to do it. And then he has you do it in various different labs throughout the entire course. Requirements, I mean, basic IT knowledge, general classes, stuff like that. You gotta know what malware is, you know, if you wanna take this course, or at least that's recommended goes over, you know, TTPs, stuff like that. Um, safety, of course, is number one. He reiterates that throughout the course. Make sure you have your lab environment properly, you know, contained within that virtual environment so that whenever you do detonate these different types of malware, you're not accidentally infecting your host machine because you don't want to do that, right? And then after each lab or task that you do in there, make sure to revert snapshot to a clean snapshot before detonation. I mean, I think the most part or the, the best part of this that I enjoyed was going through and looking at the, uh, I would say, looking at the assembly language stuff, because I'm not too familiar with looking at um, assembly language and doing that deep analysis and, uh, or the advanced analysis, but looking at tools like Cutter and such and uh, DG, as you can see there, I don't, I'm not dealing with those tools on a daily basis, so it was nice to go in and actually get hands-on experience dealing with those tools that are used out in the real world or similar tools that are used in the real world. And you can say, hey, I do have some experience dealing with these types of tools when in dealing with malware. Let's see here. Right, the course itself is nine plus hours. I believe you get nine and a half uh, credits. Hey, and heck, if you don't want to take my word for it, that this is an awesome course, here's a link here on their page that goes to a pretty good write-up of their thoughts and opinions when they took the course and what kind of knowledge and skills they gained from taking the course. Let's take a look at the course curriculum, just a quick look here. I mean, like I said, it goes from point A to, to Z when it comes to malware analysis. And this is designed for beginners to 
intermediate level and there are some advanced topics that are discussed in this course so you do need to have some form of prior knowledge when it coming with uh, when dealing with malware as i said before you didn't know what malware is the different types of malware and stuff like that but it does guide you through the process of looking at malware and, and such i mean installing flare flare vm um, installing remnux i didn't even know what those two were until i took this course I'm like oh okay well maybe i could use this in the real world to analyze malware on my own or in the corporate environment say hey hey team here's some new you know operating systems or tools that we could use to increase our efficiency when it comes to incident response or just dealing with malware collecting iocs stuff like that analysis uh, network setup and stuff because it, it takes you through the entire like lab setup setup process let's see here uh so, yeah like i said goes through basic analysis or basic static analysis you're going through and you're putting these types of malware through different tools you're looking at it through strings or floss um you're going through and looking at it through like p view p studio stuff like that dynamic you're actually going through and launching the malware and seeing seeing what it does i mean you got that linux vm setup as well so when you go through and launch the malware it's going to do some kind of network communications or may it may or may not do some kind of network communication and you're going to go through at the linux box and look at various different tools like wireshark to analyze the network traffic what kind of requests went out was http dns stuff like that so you're gathering more and more iocs and stuff like that so you can look at uh, the malware itself and try to determine what the malware is actually doing and also collecting those iocs that you can probably use to put into your various different security tools out there to get the you know connections blocked or whatever uh, dynamic analysis as well you're going in and you're looking at you know proc bond. if you know what proc bond is it's part of sys internal tools you're going in and you're looking at um, debuggers you're launching the malware inside of that debugger and you're putting in like breakpoints and such so you can determine you know what exactly occurred in this malware what what exactly did it do and it's very different uh, malware sample he has in there some of them are custom made by him or modified by him i mean there's one in there from uh it's a type of ransom uh, wanna cry ransomware which is you know well known in the cybersecurity space you're going to take a look at that one and see what seeing what it does stuff like that i mean there's th various different challenges there's boss fights and such where you're going in and you're going to apply everything that you learned previously and the other videos and you're going in and applying those concepts and techniques to determine um, what this malware is doing and stuff like that. And if you get stuck, there there are videos in there that goes through, you know, step by step process of how he discovered this t this type of IOC or he discovered this and this malware and stuff like that. So if you get you get stuck, just walk through videos in there. And there's also a Discord server that you can go in and be a part of to ask questions about the course going through phishing stuff here i mean it's just a plethora of different topics you're going to be getting exposure to in this course i mean 29 dollars and 99 cents that <laughs> you can't beat that price tag for what you're getting out of this course it's definitely the best bang for your buck if you're looking to get into the space or just improve your skills when it comes to malware analysis and triage or if you want to build up on your incident response skills anything like that and on top of that you can probably become a malware analyst i mean this course is just going to help you in your cybersecurity career if you enjoyed this video got any type of information from it be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button and thank you for watching